Watch you guys, got another video here for you. This one's been requested a fair bit by my YouTube members. It's on how to configure and set up Windows to make it more secure. So we're going to be talking about LAD security and how to uh, get the most out of your computer so you don't get infected on the internet. Now, malware and infections on the internet is on the up and up and uh, if you aren't protected properly, you are going to get infected. It's just one of those things and I'm going to show you how to protect yourself to the max. So let's have a look at um, how to go about doing this. So first off, the first place to start would be your Windows itself and uh, we're going to be looking at Windows updates. Now you may be overlooking this area but you should always update Windows um, with all the latest service packs and all the latest security patches and stuff like that. And the reason why is because if you don't update this and you don't have it set up right then you're going to be open to the elements. Okay, now malware loves this sort of stuff. If you're not um, got all the latest security updates, it will find these little security holes in your operating system and it will um, abuse those. Okay, now the way to set this up would be to go to change settings here and set it to this uh, feature here and then put in allow all users to install updates on the computer. So basically you can set this up how you like. Now I've not set this up because obviously this is a test machine and I'm only just showing you and there's no point in me updating it all because it, I never really keep it for that long. A couple of weeks and it's emptied and put, I'll start a new one. So that's what you want to start off with first of all, okay, with your Windows updates. The next thing we're going to do is configure Windows a slightly different way to protect Windows and stop it from getting infected really easily and the way we can do that is by going into user accounts now, as you can see here which is pretty much the norm for most people is having one account and it's called administrator and then they create other accounts and they give them administrator access now companies won't do this what they will do is they set up numerous different uh, workstations and they will have certain access to certain things and this is the way we're going to run it from an home environment sort of pro, uh, look really what we're going to do here is create a new account so we're going to manage another account and uh, what we want to do here is create a new account and we're going to create a new administrator account you can call this whatever you like admin system admin uh, whatever you like well, I'm going to call mine system admin and then once you've done that we're going to click uh, create account and then this is the account we can see we've got two accounts now Brightec Administrator and also System Admin Administrator. So what we're going to do here is click on this and we're going to change the way this works. We're going to add a password to this one. So we're going to create a password. Now you want to make this nice and easy to remember but not too difficult that you forget and not too easy for it to be guessed or correct. Okay. So I'm going to do this here and click on create password. You can change your icon if you like, I'm not too bothered about that. So what we're going to do here is manage our accounts again and now we're going to change our Brightech account and we're going to change the account type and we're going to make this a standard user. Okay, Now this is like a limited user for XP and stuff like that and basically it stops people from uh, having to install stuff willy-nilly like software and stuff like that you're going to have to get permission to do that now that might be a bit of a, a pain in the backside for some people but if you want to be safe on the internet then this is the best way to go trust me so we're going to change the account type and then once we've done that we can close this off and we're going to come down to the run bar here and we're going to type in there net pl whiz i'm going to click on this and I'm going to put in our password now for our administrator. You can see it already working. And this is going to give us access to this, okay? Now you want it so it looks like this. You'll probably have it with this ticking up the top. You're going to take the tick out of this one here. So this is exactly how it should look once you've got that highlighted, okay? And then click OK and then OK again. And once you've got that all set up, you're pretty much good to go here now. We've now anything that needs to be installed i.e. malware dropping onto the system and this is normally what malware does because it wants to get into system files and uh, Windows System 32 and stuff like that and to do that it's going to need to have permissions and if we see that running on the system and we're not doing anything I'm going to say no to that which then protects me operating system okay now you may get some stuff left on the system but it's not going to be running and causing you any issues 
okay so this is how malware works so let's uh, get on with the next step I would say the next thing I would look at is your browser a lot of people neglect browsers now it doesn't really matter what browser you use this is not a video about what the, what's the best browser use whatever browser you feel comfortable with just make sure that you've got the latest version okay once you've got the latest version you're good to go now you can also tighten up the security to another level by adding add-ons to this okay add-ons are types of things like web of trust which will actually leave these little green circles on websites to say it's a trusted site or if it's red it will be red and it says it's not a trusted site so this is a good another layered security to help you protect yourself when you're browsing last password or these other types of password tools whatever you use this is another form of uh, security because you're protecting yourself to stop people from getting your password from your browser and stuff it's going to encrypt it and make it much more difficult now there is lots of other add-ons and we'll probably cover these in other videos but you've got them like uh, you know uh, no script and stuff like that uh, ad block and these types of things you can add them all in whatever you like here okay so once we've got this all done we've now got our browser done we need to start looking at programs that we can use now the first program we're going to be looking at is an antivirus program and this is a vast it's a free one and uh, you can use whatever one you like you can see this is waiting for me to register it um, but in general it doesn't really matter which one it is AVG uh, Avast um, Antivire I think it's called there's a few of them out there that are free um, Viper I think I've got one you can use all these ones if you wish or you can purchase one like Kaspersky Norton whatever you like really I'm not in in this one to sort of pick out what's the best in this video it's as long as you've got some sort of protection okay so once you've got this one in place this is another form of layered security you've now got your antivirus program we now need an anti malware program and I would suggest malware bytes now you have got other types that you can use this is you can see we're running in the pro version here as a trial but um, because this is a test machine but on my real machine I would be running this as a pro version and the reason for that is is because it protects you all the time when you're using the internet it's protecting you and it will stop you getting uh, infected okay now there may be stuff that slips through the first uh, layer of security ie your antivirus but then it would have to get past malware bytes so then once we've got malware bytes you can see the general picture here now we're starting to build up layers of security and i.e. this is why a pro version is very important a lot of people use uh, the non-pro version and that's called on-demand scanning the problem with that is it's not doing anything it's just sitting there waiting for you to run it it's too late once you get infected so you want to make sure you're running a pro version it doesn't cost a lot of money and I'm not affiliated with Malwarebytes in any way shape or form I'm not going to get any money for it it's just the one I would choose myself okay there is uh, other ones out there as well okay so now we've got this one let's talk about something else we can have a secondary program called uh, Wind Patrol that's another free version there or you've got Wind Patrol Plus now Wind Patrol Plus gives you some added extras uh, it monitors things in the background and it will uh, live scanning so basically as you're working it's working behind the scenes for you and we can do this by uh, registering the uh, registry monitor this will um, monitor the registry changes that are happening on the system which is great if you've got uh, malware on the system all of a sudden it will tell you what's happening we've also got hidden files we've got recently added so recently added uh, files on here if you've got something all of a sudden added on the system ie malware and it's slipped through malware bytes and slipped through a vast this is now going to pick it up so we're adding another layer of security this is really important because uh, it makes it much more difficult for malware to get through and even if it did get through all three of these programs it would still have to run with administrator privileges and it can't do that because I'm not going to grant it and because we've set it up as a standard user so it would be scuppered at that point really so as you can see here it's got a lot more stuff on this tool startup programs ActiveX services and whatnot okay I'm not going to go right through this program but it's a general uh, way of setting it up and this is not the only program that does this type of thing there's loads of other types that will do this as well okay okay so now we've got that all set up 
you need a firewall and this is going to be another level of security that you're adding so now you'll see in the picture we're building it up and now we've got Komodo firewall and this is going to be able to monitor your outgoing connections and ingoing inbound connections and this will also work as well um, this will notice suspicious activity happening on the system and it will notify you okay and this is a real good way of doing uh, surfing the web and stuff it will protect you so we're in safe mode at the moment he can change all these modes to whatever you like training mode if you want it to start to gather information about your general computer but once you've got it into safe mode you're pretty good to go okay so now we've got our uh, firewall you can see the sort of picture we're building up here and uh, one last thing here one thing that people tend to forget about is uh, backup programs now backup is another form of loud security because what you're doing is you're allowing yourself to have backup copies of your registry um, a clone of your hard drive or maybe use Windows backup and there's one built into Windows or you can use things like this Cobain uh, free backup tool here there's loads of different options that are open to you okay there's plenty of free ones out there and there's also um, paid versions like Acronis um, and stuff like that okay for paid versions I like Acronis it just depends on what, what how um, much you want to spend and whether you want to go that far with it now you may be thinking this is a bit of overkill but the internet today is rife with uh, malware viruses rogues and if you use this method I'm pretty sure you're not going to get infected and if you heart it's going to be pretty uh, pretty weak because it isn't going to run as a process okay so that said we've now talked about everything right up to this and uh, I think that's going to be about it for this video but that's basically what I would do as setting up a PC and running it uh, on any own PC if that was me okay so basically I hope you enjoyed it my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos please remember guys hit that subscribe button also rate and favorite my videos if you enjoy them and if you want any more videos made uh, then just send me a message and I'll do my best to make those videos for you okay so thanks again for watching guys and thanks for your support bye for now